Hey every jelly, it's Ari. Sorry if I sound a little funny today. I've been sick the last few days and my throat has been hurting. As you can see, today we are doing a character design video and building this character a house. I posted with my schedule on the community tab that I have an announcement in this video and the theme has everything to do with my exciting news. I've decided to start making these videos more often. I've realized just how much I love doing these character design and build videos. It's part of why I was considering making an art exclusive channel, but I thought it would be much more fun to just start doing my favorite thing here instead. As I'm sure the jellies who've been around a while have noticed, I did not make this character with poles like I usually would, partially because I wanted this announcement to be a surprise. As for future designs, I've been thinking about whether or not each design should have poles or not. Poles are a huge part of what makes this so much fun, but if we were to use poles every time, I would worry about it being too much or things getting mixed up. So how this will work is I will post polls for one character that will get a video at the end of the month. While still uploading other character design videos like this one where I make a character without using poles, along with a variety of ter Terraria speed builds, building challenges, and the playthrough episodes. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comments as I love getting feedback from my jellies. I do think that this idea with the polls will allow for more participation from everyone um, and a really interesting design. In these videos where I design and build, usually I would explain the design based off from the polls and why I went with each part of the drawing, and then do the speed build based off from the character, usually asking myself things like, where would this character live? What do they like? What colors are their favorite? Things like that. It's a very fun project to do and I always look forward to it. I hope that this is something you will all look forward to as well. While I was designing this character, I had an initial idea of luck. I wanted to draw someone who looked very happy and lucky. This reminded me of Four Leaf Clovers, and I kind of just went with it. I also wanted to challenge myself to do a different hairstyle, and decided to try a side bang moment for this character. I think the hair turned out okay, and I'm happy to have tried something different. While coloring the character, I'd planned to make their hair white or very light blonde, but it felt like brown would fit the character's color palette better, as clover grows on the ground and the ground is brown. <laughs> My logic might be a little obvious or silly, but the blonde was not doing it for me, so I just trusted my thoughts as I colored. I'd love to know what you think of this character and what you think we should name her. I'm totally blanking on a name for this character. <laughs> She's giving me leprechaun vibes now that I'm looking at her with fresh eyes. What would be a good name for a leprechaun? Hmm, let me know in the comments below. I'd planned to go over my thoughts for the house, but my voice is starting to go out a little, so to put it shortly, I had a rainbow in mind while I was building this character's house. I wanted it to look comfortable, small, with a touch of magic to it. 
Thanks so much for watching this video. It means so much to me knowing that others like my builds and art. I'm excited to get back to designing characters together with you jellies. Oh, don't forget that there is a free background with this character in the Discord channel for your use as a thank you for me for watching. Alright every jelly, I'll see you next week. Bye!